Can I kiss you? Yes. Just like that. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I said it. It was maybe the single bravest thing I'd ever done and thought, I don't care what, I was in one of those moods. Maybe you've experienced it. Where everything else in the day had been so awful that you're in the position of saying, what could be worse? And feeling a little reckless. Like why not give a total stranger the opportunity to slap you in the middle of a crowded restaurant because that would be the perfect ending to this really bad day. Well, day? Week? It had been a good year, basically. Actually, I'd begun to question the entire period of the 1990s. 1987 was a good year for me, but ever since then, there had been a series of... I bought a bagel and a deli in August of 87, and the cream cheese was just a little off. Not bad. Not like I wasn't going to eat it. It just it didn't taste quite right. And I think it started there. So about a week later, I quit my job. Well, quit. I was given the opportunity to quit was how they, I was fired, all right? But it was clearly unfair because how could one person be responsible for the entire collapsible Wall Street brokerage house? It makes no sense, right? Yes, I could have made decisions and I could have made my mistakes. And yeah, they would have avoided touching on Black Monday, but hindsight is, and in some ways, it was an opportunity to start off with a, a new career and a new city and a new room in my parents' house. Because they had redone my old room and taken out the beds that were shaped like choo-choo trains, which was good, because my wife would have never stayed with me as long as they, that is, she would have never stayed with me if they had. We eventually decided that she had some personal growing left to do, and we, we thought that a trial separation would be. She met a guy named Kurt, basically was the deal. And that was great for her and for our two kids, Jamie and Karen who live in Oslo now, and they love the fjords. And do you want to see some pictures? They've gotten so big, you wouldn't believe it. I know I can. I actually haven't seen them since I got out of prison for, for embezzlement from the Burger King that I was assistant managing while I was living with my parents in the 90s. And I was totally innocent. It was senior management who was the guilty party, and it's complicated, but it seems as though senior management can get away with nearly anything and pin it on the assistant. Anyway, you're probably not interested in that. It was a minimum security. The leaves in autumn were just gorgeous, and it was upstate, and you could play tennis, and you have to see those pictures. I have a, no. Shit! I forgot. My wallet was stolen. Everything I had. All my credit cards. My debit cards. My visas. Everything. Basically, gone. But I had just taken out $200 from the bank. And I had that in my pocket. So I'm standing in the middle of the street and I'm thinking to myself, I'm 35 years old. My family is gone. My career is gone. And my wallet is gone. But I have 10, $20 bills in my pocket and I look nice. So I decided that I would go to the best restaurant that I can find and eat a decent meal because I deserve at least that. And that's why I'm here. And that's when I said what I said. And that's when I saw her. And that's when she said, unbelievably, miraculously said, are you ready? Can I kiss you? This table was ready. And I wanted to take him to this table. Does anyone here enjoy a good meal? Can we see a show of hands? I enjoy a good meal. Wonderful, thank you. Now, I know what you're thinking. For example, this gentleman here. I don't mean to single you out, sir, but I suspect this man here turned to his not unattractive companion over there and same with a kind of smirk on his face. What an idiotic question. 
who doesn't enjoy a good meal? While all the time imagining, in all likelihood, something like a turkey burger with fries or maybe some cheese, or guacamole slopped on top of it with flavor. Is that about right, sir? How does that sound? Pretty tasty, huh? Well, get out of here, you filthy bastard! It's what I was saying to you about running this theater now, and if it were not a theater, but a restaurant. Because I do not run that kind of restaurant. What kind of restaurant do you run? It's probably the question you are asking now if you're not already leaving. It's a pretty good question. I think I can answer it best with the following description of how you would go about looking at a table at my restaurant and the unlikely event you decide you go before to eat here. First, you should look at a calendar to determine today's date. Then, you should pick the day when you would like to have your meal. Now, you should do a little math and make sure the two days are at least 18 months apart. Now, for a rather more challenging part, you must ask yourself, Am I a major world-class celebrity on the order of, say, Michael Jordan, Mikhail Gorbachev, or Michael Patton, Lord of the Dance? Because if you are not, you're just fucked and you're not going to get a table. Except, except, except. There are always exceptions. A couple of nights a year, no more than one or two, some random, catastrophic, essentially unknowable chain of events. For a few moments, the table lights over. Empty. It's white tablecloth blowing like a beacon of long in a version of purity, and the otherwise absolutely packed dining room. Should you happen to walk in through this fleeting moment of opportunity, and should you happen to be reasonably well dressed, and should you be carrying cash, you might find that you're approached by me and Walker. Now get down on your hands and knees and sing praises to whatever miserable gods your fathers pray to. A table. And when I offer you this table, your answer must be unequivocal, simple and swift. It must be yes. If you hesitate, you are foolish. If you attempt conversation, you will be rebuffed. And if you're insane enough to say something like, can I kiss you? Not only will I not bother you, no you cannot kiss you. Get out of my restaurant, you fucking lunatic. But I will immediately pass you in line, and you will be lost. Lost, 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 lost. Are you ready?